My name is Michelle Pensens and I'm the director of the Anti-Defamation League's A World of Difference Institute in Connecticut. Before, bullying stopped at the schoolyard. Right? When you got to go home, you could at least feel like you had a break from your tormentors. Now it literally follows you home in your backpack. Um, it's 24-7. I don't necessarily think that um, bullying has gotten worse it's just changed how it's happened. In traditional bullying, in-person bullying, it's often someone with social or physical power, but behind the keyboard or behind the cell phone texting, I don't necessarily need to have that. So anyone can be a cyber bully. Sometimes also it's the targets who retaliate through the safety of their you know, laptop at home. Um, where they can't be seen, maybe even anonymously. So we're seeing, and we're also seeing a lot of sort of accidental cyber bullies, where someone really thought what they were doing was funny, or just they were just kidding, and what it actually does is it's really hurtful. Really anyone can be a target, and that's why we use the word target as opposed to victim, because we want to connote the idea that it's a moving target. And we all play all of the roles, so that someone who's a target one day, maybe the perpetrator the next, or a bystander the next day. 85% of the people who are being bullied online are also experiencing offline, in-person bullying. Young people are often afraid to take a stand against the perpetrator because they're afraid of retaliation. In 85% of situations, there's a bystander, whether that's offline or online bullying. But yet, in only 20% of the instances, does someone actually stand up? One thing students can do that would only take a minute is to remember the power of three and that comes from Nancy Willard, who's an expert in the area of cyberbullying. And if you see something happening online where it's a train of, of negative tweets, someone's negative comments on Facebook, you can text, call, instant message, a couple of your friends, and the power of three is three voices challenging what's going on can turn the tide. But it really is helpful if you get an entire student body committed to that this is not okay in our school and we act when we see it. So that way the allies outnumber the perpetrators.